Amy Schumer just demanded a, a big hike in her $11 million fee for her Netflix special uh, after learning that Chris Rock and Dave Chappelle earned more. And by the way, they did it. So that's what, no, no, silent. That's what brings us to, uh, well, this week's segment. This week in But My Vagina. You knew that was coming. So, <laughs> um, here's the thing: if you look at Amy Schumer, the 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 reason for demanding higher pay, her plea basically amounts to: I want, I want, I want me, 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 mine, 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 now, now, now. <sighs> Now, she wants the same pay or comparable pay <laughs> to Dave up. Chappelle yeah. or Chris Rock because they think it's unfair. This is a blow to gender equality as it was written about at Variety. And, you know, I guess she, it's, it's hard to find people who pay you to perform after the stigma with Blackfish. So Amy Schumer <laughs> is in compare. Here's the thing. It doesn't stand up. And this is a perfect microcosm for the 77 cents in the dollar myth, the feminism equal pay myth, because I don't think you could have a more clear cut example of someone undeserving of equal yeah. pay. <laughs> so let's see, why oh why might she make less than Chris Rock? And then you, you comment, uh, let me know what you think as to whether this is fair or not. And by the way, I used to defend Amy Schumer. I think she, I think she can be funny. So Just not Chris Rock returned from an eight year hiatus yeah. right away. So there's a lot, there's a lot of anticipation. Guys won four Emmy Awards, three Grammy Awards, Total film gross of $3.3 billion. And I know what you're thinking, oh, Dang. that's nothing. All films make billions of dollars nowadays. No, Amy Schumer, total, about $200 million. <laughs> So that's actually about one sixteenth <laughs> of what Chris Rock brought in. And he also had a hit show, Everybody Hates Chris. Yep. Okay. So that's kind of why Amy deal. Schumer might make less than Chris Rock. But what about Dave Chappelle? And it's, at some point, you've got to go, okay, there's a pattern here. Well, hold on. Dave Chappelle was ranked top 10. Uh, by Rolling Stone and comedians of all time. Now, he also, he was gone for, I think, eight years after walking away from one of the most lucrative deals, if you remember this, yeah. at Comedy Central. I think it was $50 million. That's insane. That's insane. Yeah, yeah, and he walked away from it, and he sort of has become a hermit. Like, any video of Dave Chappelle that's out there right now, if you're seeing on YouTube, tons of plays. millions of plays. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, it's, it's like a spotted owl. Yeah, they want to see the guy. It's a sighting. People want to see him. So, now, wh why did they offer him so much money, Comedy Central? Well, this is also important because his ratings were incredible. And in contrast to a lot of other shows, he was able to actually grow his audience over time. Often you hit a crest. Yeah. He was building it, so they wanted him to stay. Mm -hmm. Well over 3 million viewers yeah. at Comedy Central. Compare that with Amy Schumer. Her ratings only got worse over time. <laughs> As a matter of fact, in season four, it went down to 491,000 same-day viewers. Same-day viewers, by the way. That includes any reruns for Inside Amy Schumer. Uh, moving on. In case you need more, his special on Netflix has gotten really good reviews. Well, there are two yeah. of them, actually, outside of some angry social justice warriors over the tranny jokes. <laughs> <laughs> but that's Cons funny. <laughs> consider us not amongst them. Yeah. <laughs> In contrast, Amy Schumer's uh, Netflix special, and I, and I get comedy subjective, uh, but hers was so bad, Netflix had to change its rating system. <laughs> Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> It was a coincidence that she complained about the rating system Pretty and it was one star and then I it went to the thumbs up. Netflix should have done the uh, renegotiation. The By the way, house. you ever tried to thumbs down Amy Schumer's Netflix special? You hit thumbs Doesn't down, work. it goes, eh, this. No, no, this. <laughs> this, 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 this. No, 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 stop. <laughs> it's like a Florida voting booth. So <laughs> let's disregard <laughs> Netflix. Even after Netflix, her IM, universally panned by critics, the IMDb score is, I think, three out of 10. Ooh. Only 7% of people on Rotten Tomatoes liked it. So wow. this is comparing, you can compare the show ratings, you compare the box office gross, it's completely incomparable, and then you compare the actual Netflix specials that are there. And by the way, Dave Chappelle also signed a contract for several specials yeah. Uh, yeah. after coming out for eight years. People want to see him, people are anticipating it. And it sounds to me like maybe Amy Schumer should be worrying about the 77 laughs per Chappelle's 100. <laughs> <laughs> per, per Chappelle's that's, being, that's actually being generous, Stephen. Yes. <laughs> I'm only getting 77 laughs on the dollar. Maybe seven. That's generous. That's generous. <laughs> and so with all of this put together, on what merit do we think, what merit does Amy Schumer think she deserves more dough? Hmm. 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 What else could there, Possibly. is there something else at play that she thinks? Hmm. What could she possibly conclude? Uh, for her... Uh, Vagina. <laughs> I forgot how bad he was in that film. <laughs> what, what was that? Film? I don't know, but he got it right. That's right, race. <laughs> he did. He's Thank uh, you, Cuba Gooding Jr. from nine years ago. No, that's probably fifteen years ago. It's probably a long time ago. Yeah. yeah. So here's something else that I just find funny. Uh, the fact is that black men, on average, make eighty nine percent what white women make. Now, listen. Really? Yeah. It's a total. 
I, I will admit this right now. That's crazy. It's a totally unfair statistic. Yeah. It's doing, no, ex- so it's doing, the other one, yeah, so. it's doing exactly what feminists do, just comparing yeah. the mean salary. Perfect. It's not at all fair. But considering that, the, I mean, live by the phony stat, die by the phony stat. <laughs> Since you say 77 cents in the dollar, black men make on average 89% what a white woman makes. Hmm. So you have to ask yourself, it can only mean one thing. If Chappelle and Chris Rock, in case you didn't know, both black men are making that much more than Amy Schumer, a white woman, then she must be really bad. Hey, if you like this video, subscribe by clicking the button that says subscribe. If you're not aware of it now, there's no way you're learning the internet at this point. I'm not going to help you. But this was clipped from my daily show, available exclusively to lotterwithcredit.com slash mug club members. If you're a student, military, or veteran, enter in that promo code. It's less than $6 a month, and you get daily content. No more clips, plus this hand-etched mug. Oh, I just, when I feel it, I got a chill, like, on the inside.